Greetings, everyone! It's me again, Ashford from Blood and Pictures, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, where Zorgan feeds his little spike, who was named by by Pumpkin, my kitty, and that's uh, pretty amazing. So I play. I made up my mind how to edit the videos, or at least those part, those past parts of the videos. So this is an entire new video and intro. Um, uh, so, yeah, um, last time we hatched this little buddy and he refused to eat meat of beasts. That's a little bit concerning because um, they have, the, like, his race has been seen eating humanoids. Us as... Hippatho so well-deservedly named it. So I don't know why this is here, because this doesn't seem to do anything um, for him then. But yeah, we'll see how this goes, what we could feed him, I think. The Naru have not forgotten us. Meat alternatives, yep. In the wild, it is actually fairly common for insects to eat others of their species. I wonder if this rings true rings true to the Akir's will. Could you bring back some meat from the Akir augmented? We'll see if that's more po palatable for our friend here. Collect 12 pieces of insectoid meat from Akir augmented or other insects in Oldham or Vale of Eternal Blossoms. So the Akir and like the augmented count as humanoid, the Akir Partially humanoid, partially beasts. Interesting. I mean... But yeah, I, I would guess that they would be... Different. But yeah, inter interesting. Um, I'll go for the Akir, though, because they are closer. Akir and Paler. Come here. Come here, buddy. The eyes in the way. Come on. Pew. And insectoid meat. It could almost pass as a lobster. Almost. I mean, for an insectoid that big, and aren't lobsters kind of insects? I don't know. Okay. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, those small ones would have dropped the dropped it as well. Can I pull one? No, I can't. Well, now I'm almost done with it. So, uh, oh no! Come on. Stingers, come on! Yeah, I could have got a lot, lot there. But either way, the quest is done. Let's head back. And we're back. So, if this doesn't work, I kind of guess we will have to go for the humanoid enemies in those areas. Which, um, like, that's kind of my premise of where it's supposed to go. Did he served? Oh dear, that was not good. Did I miss an animation? Damn it. Damn those people with their huge mounds all over the place. Arcanon Poros. Poor little thing. The insect meat gave him tummy troubles. Oh, so he kinda puked or something? We'll have to try something else tomorrow. Okay. Be kind to those less fortunate. So I guess next time we will fight the Tolvir and the Mogu? Or Mogu and feed him their meat, because that is the only thing left to try, I think. By the way, we'll see tomorrow. Hello, Spike. Welcome. Or, well, well, not welcome, but I'm back. I wouldn't just say welcome back me, but that wouldn't make sense. <clears throat> so, Spike didn't eat the food last the last couple times, so... To the light. Now... 
my my premise of the last time was that we might e might go for the humanoids, but we'll see. Fated fillets. Okay. You know, you know, it occurred to me that since this creature has been imbued with void energy, it may prefer a more corrupted food source. I speak, of course, of the minions of Nizoth. It's a long shot. It's a long shot, but it's worth a try. Collect 12 pieces of corrupted flesh from creatures in areas under assault by Nizoth's minions. Safe journey. <sighs> Which currently is Pindaria, right? Also, I upgraded my uh, upgraded. I upgraded my arcane eye to rare quality <gasps> because I had a bunch of tokens. Um, yeah, I think currently that's Pindaria. Yep. Let's head to. Oh wait, well, let's head to Pindaria then. I mean, okay, you're not a flesh beast, particularly, but you are. A living manifestation and you count as flesh beast as far as I'm aware yep you have flesh I mean that is just I think that's just the pure reason why you exist to be out of flesh what does the tooltip say no amount of paprika is going to make this edible <coughs> and we're back Oh, I need to feed it, yeah. <laughs> okay, little larva, little spike, buddy. Do you want this? Here comes Din Din. I always call it Nom Nom, but okay. He likes it. L uh, just look at his, that appetite. He just made a backflip. Did you see that? Was it an on screen well enough? Okay, so he eats... Flesh of corrupted beings. All right then. The Naru have not. Well done. Us. Our little guy cleaned his plate. It's a good thing too. I was not looking forward to asking fa Faoris for fr uh, fresh Tolvia corpses. <laughs> I mean, we could have used the Tolvia from like the Amethet or the. The Mogu, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> there are enemies, but yeah, that wouldn't that would be um, more. We wouldn't have remain on the moral high ground at that point, I guess. I mean, feeding your enemies to your pets is that in any scenario good? I mean, what's the difference of feeding the uh, of feeding him mant manted meat? Or feed him Mogu and Tolvir meat, like the Tolvir from the Amethet. Like, of course, we won't feed them our allies, like the, these Ameth these uh, Tolvir, but the the Amethet over there. Like, where would be where? Where's the big difference between feeding him, feeding him like intelligent creatures that happen to be insectoids, or? Intelligent, intelligent creatures that happen to be similar to our allies. Today, our little spike is doing pretty good, so let's see what Hapatho Adoros has to say today. The Naru have not forgotten us. I am. Um, should do this just in case. Warm wishes to you. It occurs to me that our love, our current, our lover's current living situation is quite dull. We should try to find something to keep him entertained. After all, a happy lava is a healthy lava. I think the Amethet keep figures of, for worship of their gods. I'm sure they could also double as toys for our little friend here. See if you can find some. <laughs> so that's um. Ah, uh, that's a little disrespectful. Like, I mean, sure, they're our enemies and all, but no need to be respectful about the religion. For Christ's sake, Hippotho. You are... 
well, not respectful of other people's religion, apparently. <clears throat> so... Also, isn't this a similar religion to the people we are in the hometown of right now? Uh, either way, um... Sure. I could have just gone to the next pet shop and bought some toys there, but... May your days sure. be long and your hardships few. That is obviously the best way to get toys for your pet. Just go into the country of someone else, steal their religious idols, and chuck them to your pet in the cage. Of course. Okay, I have to literally kill them to get them as well. Damn, that's brutal. Are you, uh... Torn Death Knight. Okay. Is there any? I forgot that mages don't have an instant AOE in front of them, like for far, for much range. Okay, that Death Knight overestimated their power. I only got one from all of those. Amethyst figurines. Stone effigy to one of the gods worshipped by the Amethyst. Open your heart to the light. Did you find any suitable toys? Well, I don't know if they are suitable toys. But I found the thing you asked me to get. Look how happy he is with his new toys. Be well. Whoa, and again with the backflip. I mean, sure, they kind of could look like toys, but couldn't we like got something like that's an actual toy, but you know, does not offend the religion of so someone? I know, I think the Draenei also have a record of offending the religion of people, the religions of people. Like, for the orcs, they was like, oh, it's a Naru that draws your spirits here and does all of the stuff you thought was holy. And with the loon, the same thing, and now this. And uh, hello, Patho, you have a normal quest Warm again. Wishes so, to you. I've been, um, I've done one daily, I think. That was just go and collect meat again, so it wasn't really anything special, anything interesting. But y now we have Bug Buddies, which is a quest and not a daily quest, so something special. Let's see, um... I know what... Oh, my kitties knocked the camera. Okay, that's bad. Is it just me, or does our little friend look lonely? It would make sense that Akia are social creatures, coming from a hive that... A hive and all. It must be difficult for him not being around any of his kind. You know, maybe you could find some friends for him. Nothing big and scary, of course. But perhaps some of the smaller scarabs could be safe enough to keep him company. What do you think? Catch five docile sandstone hatchlings in all Be well. I don't know if we sh really should introduce him to social uh, to a social life yet. There? Oh, like docile, docile sandstone hatchling and a bunch of just sandstone hatchlings to attack me. No, don't lag while I'm in a, in a battle, please. Stop doing that. Okay. There are some docile ones. So I can gather those. Look! They're playing, at least. I think that's what that is. Anyway, having some friends should go a long way to keeping our lava healthy and happy. Well done. May your days be long. And your they hardships few. I 
Mm, yes, it kind of looked like it. Oh my god, look at all these small do small oop. Nope. Small bugs. Doing their buggy business. And here we are with a little spike. There we go. Are your friends nice to you? I hope so. If not, I'll squash him. Promise. The Naru have not forgotten us. Blo a bloody treat. I have heard that a clan of the Mogu called the Dukani have mastered the harnessing of life force into substance they call anima. If this stuff is indeed life condensed into a liquid form, then it could have sp spectacular properties when applied to our, our Akilava. Go see if you can bring back some of this an anima in a form that we can use. Let's see if our little friend here likes it. Except remember the lessons of the past. I mean, you can't call him by its by his name. His name is Spike. I mean, you were all the one for this idea. So why are you not calling him by his name? That's rude of you. Your blood is mine to take. Nah. Actually, I'm gonna take yours because I need the anima for my little baby bug. It's a larva. Well, larvas are baby bugs, technically. So yeah, let me. Um, you didn't drop it. Do you drop it? Your life will fuel our armies. I am so glad that that fucking hunter did not tab him before I was able to. He just came out of nowhere and shot at him. Can I? My death is not the end. Oh. Vial of purified anima extracted from the living by the Dokani, Mogu, then distilled into this into its purest form. Oh. I'm curious if that will be something we could like we should remember or consider for the anima in um, Shadowlands. And here we are back. I've got all the anima. It was hard to get. I died thrice because the Dukani have like insta-kill attacks for some reason. Let's put it there. Hmm. Well, he ate it. It's like a little dropper, like those things you have like in hamster cages with water inside. Just that there's anima inside. May the light embrace you. Have you returned with the anima? Yes, extracted from the living by the Dokani Mogu, then distilled into its purest form. The best anima you can get, boy. He sure uh, took a liking to that. I guess it helps that it's blood flavored. I'll keep note of any changes the anima causes in our friend's growth. Oh, so it's not an instant thing. Okay, thanks. Be well. The breadwinner? 